Russia continues covert mobilization and preparations for further mobilization activities. Every month about 20,000 people are drafted into the army in the Federation, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine stated. At the same time, the morale of the mobilized Russians is at a low level. This is evidenced by numerous audio interceptions of Russian military conversations. The Federation is suffering huge losses on the battlefield, and they need to be replenished. Given the problems that were in the autumn, the Russian military registration and enlistment officers are trying to do serious work and send out summons for verification and along the way are trying to recruit people as contract volunteers. There is evidence that there are specific plans that it is necessary to recruit more than 100 volunteers in the spring. And for this it is first plan to recruit volunteers, and if it's this story will not work out, but most likely it will not work out, everyone who wanted to volunteer they have already gone. Then a new wave of full-fledged mobilization will already begin. Russian conscripts are called to the military registration and enlistment offices under various pretexts. In Karelia they offer to come before the end of March and clarify the data. Summonses in Tumen and the Altai Krai are handed out with instructions to appear at the military training, despite the fact that military training is announced only by presidential decree, but such a decree has not yet been made public. Massive summonses are also received in Orenburg. The military registration and enlistment offices say, allegedly because of the mistakes that were revealed during the mobilization in the autumn of 2022. Now it is required to update the electronic database. Experts assure that the only way not to fall under the mobilization is not to deal with military registration and enlistment offices at all and not to pick up the summonses. Just refuse, just leave. Anyway, again, you see not a single case opened, no one jailed for evasion. Not because no one evades, everyone evades. There are many ways not to do it. After all, if the summons still finds its addressee, it becomes more difficult to resist. So in Suzdal, the father of three minor children was mobilized. The military commissar claims that the man did it voluntarily. The wife of the mobilized denies this, as evidence she shows summons from the military enlistment office. Unfortunately, my husband's reprieve was denied right away. The Vladimir military commissariat refers to the fact that the instruction is advisory in nature and they cannot return an already mobilized person. I was in my fourth pregnancy. After talking with the military commissar, he made me understand that I would raise four children alone. Against the backdrop of constant stress, a miscarriage occurred. I lost child. The Russian army is experiencing an acute shortage of human resources due to large-scale losses. A video appeared on the network from a cemetery in Vladivostok, where a traffic jam formed from hearses with the bodies of those killed in the war. A woman behind the scenes says that back in December there was not a single grave there. They are digging new graves here. They didn't have enough space. Right now they are buried here. Young guys died for no reason. They are brought one after another. Horror, horror. Hearses just stand in line. Experts are sure that the current covert mobilization is only the beginning. At the moment, the new scenario of a new wave of mobilization is the end of May and early June, which is the end of the spring draft into the army. The military registration and enlistment officers can hardly cope with the draft and mobilization, so they will first hold the draft and try to call contract soldiers. If they fail or fail badly, there will be a partial mobilization. Of course, we are not talking about full mobilization. Reported by Roman Smoller, Angelika Brushnevska, UATV News.